Today, we'll be canning yard long noodle beans. So this basket is the ones that I've snipped. I've not washed them yet, but I'm going to. I'm gonna get them ready to can. These are the ones I had put in the freezer already. So that's, that's a good bit too. These are not washed yet either. I'm gonna let them come to room temperature. I'm gonna wash them with these and then we'll start canning them up. So I think that's a pretty good yield of yard long noodle beans for one trellis and I'm gonna wash them good and then strain them and let them dry some. I did add a, a couple squirts of my vinegar in there just to just to kill germs. It's gonna rinse off so there won't be a vinegar taste. It's not like you're pickling them. All right, we are ready to start the process. Okay, so I'm at room temperature and I've packed my jars with just raw green beans. I've got salt. I'm gonna put a half teaspoon in each jar. This is pink Himalayan salt. I do not use any kind of eye dye salt. Um, you don't have to get the pink, you can get the Celtic gray or the white, doesn't matter. I just like to get the pink and it's a fine grain. And I have my filtered water. I'm gonna fill my jars to an inch head space. I'm gonna debubble the best that you can. Now, a lot of people go through the effort of trying to stack their beans in real neat, and I, I do that sometimes. But for the sake of time today and just getting done, because I have so many things to do, I didn't do that. So I'm gonna do each one of these jars this way, then I'm going to uh, put the lids and the rings on. Everything is room temperature and clean, and my canner has room temperature water with a little vinegar in it. We'll be right back. The jars are now filled with the filter water. Everything's deep bubbled. I'm just taking my vinegar cloth and wiping my rims. Checking to make sure there's no nicks. These are new jars that I've washed and sanitized. So they should be fine and I don't feel anything. And I, I typically wipe them first, touch them, and then maybe go back and wipe real fast over those again. You may not have always seen me do that on video, but I typically do that with new jars and old jars too, because you never know if in the dishwasher they could get nicked. And then I just get my little lids ready. Some people do theirs together. I don't. It's because I'm real OCD and I want my lids to all face the same way. I want my jars I'll have the same thing on the front. That's just me. Finger tight. Finger tight. And so on. And into the canner they go. I did my parchment paper here. It's going to be a breeze to clean up. Just little water spills. And I just take my vinegar rag and do that. <laughs> Multi-purposing. Okay, so I have my ball book here just to verify the time because I've raw packed the green beans. You can see I've got my tabs for the things I can a lot of. Makes my flipping and referencing easy. Green beans for pint jars. They're gonna process for 20 minutes. That is if you hot pack or raw pack. So this is the ball home preserving book that I use. I have the blue book. I just like this one. 
jars are in the canner. We're going to wait till it comes up to pressure. Then we're going to let it blow off steam for 10 minutes. And then we'll add our jiggler. Mine's at 10 pounds of pressure for 20 minutes. Out of the ones that I showed y'all that I were, was trimming today, that I had picked yesterday and today, this is what was left that I'm not canning. I'm actually going to fresh cook these for today and see how we like them. We've not tried the yard long beans yet. I do know that the, the skin feels a little bit tougher than some green beans. So I know it's an Asian green bean and it's good for sauteing. But I'm going to cook them like country style green beans and we're going to see what they do. Another thing I like to can, um, I did not grow potatoes this year. So I went to the box store and I bought what they say is organic potatoes, red potatoes. And I'll just peel them. Some of them I'll can whole, the smaller ones. Some of them I'll uh, cut up real small and can them that way. Now these look really starchy. When I take them out of the jar to use them, I'll rinse them real good to get that extra starch off of there. But that's something that could be canned in with the green beans. You just have to can according to which vegetable needs the longest canning time, which is the potatoes. So I'm not doing that. I'm doing mine separately. But when I cook these uh, green beans, I will probably throw in a few pieces of potato and some onion. Green beans are in the pot with a few raw potatoes down in the bottom. Just gonna let that cook together. We'll be adding some salt pork and seasonings and uh, some fat. And here's something I didn't show you. These are my little bits of scraps for the compost pile. But this parchment paper is organically done uh, through the grove and it is compostable. So it will go to the compost too. So there's no waste there. Canners rolling. The green bean potato with a little ham in there. Going on. Okay, the yard long, oriental yard long beans have been processed. And I actually cooked some with little ham, salt pork, and potatoes for mom. And I tasted the green bean, and it is a little different than what I expected. Um, I just expected a green bean, to be honest. But it has a little bit of a citrus twist to it, and I like that, and Mom liked that. So, yard-long noodle beans for the win. And so you can see what they look like canned. Awesome, very pretty. All right. So I did my 10 pounds of pressure for 20 minutes and let them uh, reduce pressure and, you know, went through the, all the steps. Again, please check with the USDA uh, preservation guidelines or a ball canning instruction. I don't want you to get sick, but right now off of two small pickings of noodle beans or oriental yard long beans I have eight pint jars and that uh, vine is kicking and rocking and rolling so I'll probably end up with two or three times this much before it's over with so I'm tickled that'll take take us through the winter thank y'all for watching